The third thing is sunlight, morning sunlight in particular. I've done extensive episodes about this. Check out the episode on lighting your health if you want all the details, but you want to try and view sunlight as early in the day as possible. Five to 10 minutes on a clear day, minimum 10 to 20 minutes on a cloudy day, minimum 20 to 30 minutes on a very overcast day, minimum without sunglasses. Don't stare at the sun. Please don't damage your eyes. Look off slightly off from the sun, but yes, you want to face eastward towards the sun. And on those cloudy days, that's especially important to do. Why? Well, viewing morning sunlight increases cortisol early in the day, which is excellent because you want cortisol elevated early in the day and you want it lower later in the day. And because of the relationship between the cells in your eye that sense sunlight, specifically morning sunlight, believe it or not, that happens and signal to your hypothalamus and the relationship between the hypothalamus and the pituitary and other endocrine organs, it sets in motion a dopamine related cascade in neuromodulators, dopamine and hormones that lead to states of well-being, elevated mood, alertness, et cetera, throughout the day. It also helps your sleep at night, but today we're talking about dopamine. So yes, believe it or not, that morning sunlight exposure does increase your levels of dopamine, not just cortisol. 